you been here? 18 of the longest hours of my life. You know, my, uh, my intern still won't go in the morgue because of you. I don't care what you say. There's a superstitious awe, I guess, with which everyone views the dead. Your intern needs to learn how to deal with it. But is it universal? I certainly don't feel it. Yes, you do. You just need the right circumstances to pop up that make you feel it. Ah, oh, come on. We're doctors. We deal with death all the time. You gotta figure, like, doctors and soldiers. Uh, they'd have to be over it. I was a soldier, and I am a doctor. It can happen to anyone, trust me. So what, it happened to you? Yeah, it happened to me. When I was in the army in Iraq, the unit I was with got loaned out to a Baghdad morgue. Oh. So what happened? Bodies were coming in dozens at a time. A bomb had gone off. One of ours blew up an apartment building. We'd filled up the cooler, so we started using the office building next door. God, the smell. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. We'd filled up most of the offices and the majority of the hallway space, so we started taking them down to the basement. I took one body down there, and someone was right behind me. Wedged the door completely shut. So how long were you in there? All night. All night in the dark? Well, I had a pen light with me, but I didn't want to use it that much. I was afraid to be without it completely, and the batteries were low. I got it in my head that this civvy was blaming me for his death and all the bad things that had happened to him. I started seeing... started seeing pictures of everyone that I'd ever seen die. You what? Well, not like on the walls or anything, but just little flashes in my mind. Every funeral I'd been to, every emergency room patient I'd lost, Every soldier I'd seen bleed out the sucking chest wound. They were all blaming me for their death. All of them. My grandfather, who died of cancer when I was eight. My older brother, who died in a car accident. Something clicked. Some dark recess in my mind. Something changed. Like, was it fear? No. No, it wasn't fear. Why am I fucking here? More like anger. I started getting very angry. I started to rave at the body. Oh, why did I agree to do this? Screaming at him. Fuck this bullshit. This isn't my fault. Oh, oh, oh fucking bullshit, motherfuckers. How dare you judge me? You're not even fucking dead, are you? Went on like that for a long time. Fucking prank. Don't you fucking move, bitch! I realized that here I was, thousands and thousands of miles from home, in the dark with a corpse. I had to get out. It was like the worst feeling of claustrophobia you've ever had, tenfold. I started pounding on the door and scraping at the walls until my fingers bled. Didn't do any good. It was morning till someone got there to let me out. I don't know. It kind of seems like a unique circumstance. Maybe the army didn't quite prepare you for it. Listen to me. I was a damn good soldier and I'm a damn fine doctor now. It can happen to anyone. So how about we do a controlled experiment? What do you mean? I know a guy. He'll do anything for a hundred dollar bet. We went to med school together. He kind of dropped out because uh, a little bit of a gambling problem. Come on, I'll give you ten to one odds. He'll make it through the whole night, not a peep. I don't know. I know this mortician. He owes me a favor. If we let him in on the bet, he'll be all over it. I don't know if I'm entirely comfortable with this. 
What's the worst that could happen? 